Hey everyone, so taking a cue from Jimmy DeResta and Total Boat at WorkbenchCon this past uh, March, I've decided I'm going to encapsulate our little friend here. We found him on the property. Let me introduce you to Catifer. So to give the feeling that he's actually floating in the resin, I'm gonna pour about eight to 10 ounces first, let that set up, and then we're gonna put him in and then coat the rest of the way up. So the resin I'm using is a little bit of an off-brand I picked up from Amazon called Liquid Glass. So we're gonna see how this works. I haven't tried this before. It's a two to one, and uh, it's supposed to be super clear. I think it's some really good recommendations. We'll see what happens. The first layer is set up, so it's gonna look like it's actually floating in the resin. And I'm so dedicated to this project, I'm here after work on a Sunday to finish this. Fun times. The fun part is now I gotta hope that nothing really floats out of this. For a 12 by 12 by two inch deep, um, it's saying about, about a gallon. Um, I'm gonna mix it up at two quarts at a time just to make sure because it's not a complete square. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Yeah, this is one of those projects that you only get like one shot with. And um, yeah, I'm feeling a little nervous. Fingers crossed. Okay, he's still staying down. And that's what I was afraid of. But I mixed this in small batches. Now I have to save all the bubbles. These are gonna be like the worst right here. Well, we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. Okay, so duly noted, um, next time I try this, you have to seal the object before you start. Um, apparently I did not do good enough research for that, so it won't be perfect. But I think for a first try, this is gonna be pretty doggone good. So with most resins, you can always add another layer, you just have to sand in between. So we're using 320, and we're gonna just lightly sand everything, and then wipe it down, and then see what we can do. I'm so glad I completely coated him with resin before anything happens. And we let this dry for a few seconds and then see what we can do. Last four, moment of truth. Like, I think it'll be good for a good shot, for like for first try. Not gonna say I'm not nervous. Very nervous. So time to get on the gloves and uh, do the thing. It's the final pour down. Also, just to note, when they say it's liquid glass, they're not joking. This stuff is very liquidy. So I really would suggest whenever you use it, be careful when you pour because it's extremely liquid and you can over pour very, very easily. And we will not make the same mistake twice with the bubbles. I'm gonna be here for a little bit and we will see you guys. You know, for you, it's gonna be two seconds. For us, it's gonna be a little bit. <laughs> I'm stoked. I'm actually stoked. This project turned out really well for a first time. Check it. <laughs> Here he is! This caterpillar is amazing! Yeah, so this is front. This is back, obviously, because there's some bubbles. And this is not his final form. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok if you'd like to see that. We're going to get a little artsy with him and uh, go from there. This project was a success. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. That's how you encase. I hope you all have a wonderful one, and I'll see you next time. Bye!